Hello everyone, this is Vintage Bomb Guy. In today's video, we're going to be doing system test number 99. So anyway, let's get started. So for today's system test, is going to be a little bit different than usual. And you can probably actually tell by the title of this video and the thumbnail of this video. Yes, we're going to be doing voice feedback. So, so for today's system test, we are going to be doing voice feedback. So this will be my first time I was doing voice feedback. So for the system test, it's going to be voice feedback. So anyway, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with devices here. But before we get started with devices here, so I want to I'm going to explain how how I'm going to be running the uh, speaker on the speaker strip today. So, so how I actually have this work is I have an old computer speaker. Yeah, you can probably see you can see there's the wires that kind of go to it. These alligator clips, and this the, this is the following wire from NAC one. I actually have it, have it hooked up to the speaker on the speaker strobe, so that's actually how I'm going to be running it. And only just that, but I also have my, having, I have my old tablet right here. It's an old Samsung Galaxy Tab. Yeah, yeah, it's really old, and I don't really don't use this tablet that much anymore. But, uh, but yeah, this is. But on my tablet, I actually have some uh, file or voice back messages that we are going to be playing, uh, pretty much from this device here. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got. So, yep, so that's pretty much how we're going to be running the uh, voice back on this thing. So, I guess without further ado. I guess let's go ahead and let's get started with the devices here on the system. So for the pulsing spot next to the panel, um, I actually have a new pulse station. I have a uh, Firelight BG-10. You can see this is just a standard basic Firelight BG-10 with the hex lock on it. Um, for the first notification points, I have my sy system sensor SP-101W24LO uh, or the mass uh, speaker strobe. So this will be the first time I'll be using this for a system test. So Looking forward to actually testing this device for a system test today. For the smoke detector spot, I have my uh, System Center 2400 for electric smoke detector. For the pulse station spot next to the doorway, um, I actually have uh, another Firelight BT10, uh, also hex lock. And then above it, for the last and final device, I have my System Center 24M uh, uh, remote strobe right over here. All right, so that is pretty much the overview of all the devices here on the system. So I guess without further ado, I guess we'll go on and get on with the activation part. So all right, we'll go ahead and we'll start things off with the um, Firelight BC-10 over here by the panel. So a uh, few things to mention, um, if you do have epilepsy, please do not watch. And please do not pull firearms in public buildings or jam with any, uh, with any like safety equipment. I'm not responsible for actions if you choose to do so. So, all right, yeah, you guys all ready for a system test that I have never done before. All right, three, two, one. All right, go to the tablet, and let's play the meshes. All right, so, so as you see, we do have uh, some silence right here, or audible silence. So, yep. So anyway, I guess we'll go ahead 
I also, I also reset this pull station. So now, now I will have to reset this off camera because this is going to require two hands for me to do it. So I'll be right back. All right, pull station's been reset. So let's go ahead and let's activate another device. And also, fun fact, I actually changed the uh, the voicey back meshes uh, to another one. So let's see. Let's go ahead and let's find out what voicey back meshes it actually does. So, all right, three, two, one. Here. Mm -hmm. There is a fire emergency in the building. You are to leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. I'm gonna let that play for one more round. Alright, so you guys can probably already tell, yep, that was the simple exploitation back message, so, yep. So obviously first we did the firelight one, as you guys can probably already tell. Now we're doing simplex, so I got one more I'm gonna play so for you guys. So but first before we do that, I gotta reset the pulse station obviously by the by the doorways. So go ahead and reset this BG10. And as usual, I'm gonna probably have to reset this off camera, so be right back. Alright, pulse station's been reset. Let's go ahead and let's activate the last and final device, 2400. Alright, so that was pretty much the that was pretty much all the devices that we just activated. So now we can go ahead and reset the panel. 
and that'll probably be it for the video. All right, system is now back on. All right, all right. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up for system test number ninety nine. The good old voicey back system. So yeah, sorry this wasn't exactly the greatest voicey back system. Um, obviously I made. You know, like I said, I tried. You know, the best I can. But well, however, that is gonna be a really good contrast uh, to the system test that's gonna be coming after this one, because in that system test, um, I'm actually gonna be using all the rarest. Uh, devices that I obviously have uh, that I'm going to be using for system test 100 and since it's going to be the last system test I wanted to do something a little bit special so I think that would be pretty cool so yeah. I mean, yeah I'll tell you what that was actually pretty cool doing a uh, voice back so you can see you know we got all the busy 10s system centers and stuff like that yeah it's pretty much like a 1990s or like maybe like a late 80s early 90s system center um, voice back system or something like that so I think it's pretty cool, so, yeah. All right, so that's going to pretty much wrap up for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.